identify the individual that is requesting access or is to utilize a, a card or to just get into a building, whatever the case is. Our system is able to identify the unique uh, aspects of an individual's hand to an accuracy of 99.9%. The use of system, you enter your ID number. We will ask you to place your hand. And if you're who you say you are, you're verified. If someone else was to attempt to use my ID number or a card, uh, the system will automatically reject them because it's not me. And you can see the system says try again. The INSPASS program uses hand geometry to verify uh, people coming into the United States uh, through an automated process. Rather than typically going up to a uh, immigrations officer, they now go to a machine that looks very similar to an ATM. It's used by frequent travelers, people who are currently coming into the country or leaving the country and coming back in more than three times a year. Before proceeding, please step forward and place your hand on the biometric recognition sphere. You may now enter. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie. Well, science it is, but fiction don't have to wait in these lines. They go directly to a specially designated lane with an INSPASS stand, like this one. Designed to resemble an automated teller machine, the INSPASS stand has a slot for travelers to insert their INSPASS cards. Next, members carefully place their fingers against a set of positioning pins on the screen of the biometric hand scanner. Within seconds, the scanner records a complex three-dimensional measurement of each traveler's hand. Those calculations are compared to the information stored on travelers' INSPASS cards. If the data matches, travelers enter their flight information. Uh, only begs the question of the definition of what type of animal, and if that definition is a mammal, certainly it would include man. Are there humans running around somewhere on the globe with tags, RFID tags implanted in them? Yes, absolutely conclusively so. Society will be fully upon us and our paychecks will be entered directly into the smart cards we will carry in our pockets. The smart card chip will be reduced in size, then become part of the injectable biochip. It will be our electronic purse, our new money. Like our pets, we will be permanently marked, effectively owned by the state. You can run, but you cannot hide. The book of Luke, chapter 20. Uh, no more painful than a, a routine inoculation. Sounds great for animals, but look who they're talking about injecting with a biochip now. Veterinarians think the concept could eventually be used as a way of identifying children. I don't know if they would have to do special studies uh, for the human population, but I think it's feasible. There's even talk about injecting newborn babies before they're allowed to leave the hospital. While some people are ready to accept this idea, others are skeptical even about having it done to their pets. Scrappy, the Maltese's master, had hesitations about going high-tech. So did the owners of two canines named Shaka and Juice. I don't know about putting something inside my dog. I don't know. GM Hughes has a very highly automated...